Voila, you amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another BTS reaction video and today we are checking out the BTS bonus video of the week as voted for by all of you on Saturday's live stream on Twitch. If you want to be part of the next one, make sure you go follow me, link is in the description. Anyway, we are checking out BTS I Need You, one of their older songs, I think this came out about 7 or 8 years ago. Every time I go back and check out an old BTS song, I'm reminded of one thing and that is why they are as big as they are because from day one from their debut stuff from their debut album to their early songs they have had it they have had it they came into a game on a label that wasn't that known that they came in as the unknowns as the underdogs took the whole show by storm and just crushed it becoming the biggest band in the world and i love going back to their older stuff and just experiencing all of that and just seeing like where they started and understanding why they are the superstars they are today. So, how about I stop talking and we jump straight into my first time ever reaction to BTS, I Need You. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. There's a BTS song, um, which we checked out on Rise of Bang Tang. We checked out like a, a, a like 30 second clip of it or something. And it was considered one of BTS's darkest ever songs. Why do I, I go into all these reactions blind, so I don't do any research behind the songs I'm checking out, but why do I have a horrible feeling that it is this one? song isn't it it is this song it is this song i didn't know this shit you guys shouldn't do this to me you know how emotional i am i'm not gonna survive this one i don't want to see bts like this oh no unknown i will say straight off the bat already this sounds like an absolutely an absolutely awesome song an absolutely awesome song um i think i'm i think i'm absolutely screwed here i think i'm screwed here i don't know if i can see these guys like this this is gonna this is gonna suck BTS have always like crushed those choruses like especially in the early days when you go back and check out their earlier stuff like we've been doing their choruses are just masterfully done they sound so good you have absolutely insane vocals from from the vocal line of BTS just taking the lead on on like the choruses and just making these amazing 
amazing vocal choruses with these fantastic beats and these amazing bridges. They've always smashed that from day one. I love the brotherhood aspect of this underlining as well. We've got this very hard-hitting emotional music video, but at the same time you have cuts of them having this good bond, this brotherhood, and it sort of gives you that sort of warm satisfaction knowing that that's more of a truth of what we have now with BTS. Also, the way they're dressed, I don't know if anyone knows, but it's like, it's very British. They're dressed very British. This is literally like what you would see with like 80s uh, UK, 70s UK in like the mod and the rockers kind of scene. If anyone doesn't know that, just go uh, just Google like um, mod and rockers UK. That's literally the exact same outfits designs I'm seeing right here. But like this is England. Yeah, or Google this is England TV show and you'll see exactly what I mean. It's amazing how BTS find this like this this brilliant line where a song can literally be a breakup song like this could be a breakup song it could be about the hardships of, of how of like the emotional strain that someone goes through with a difficult breakup because I imagine a lot of you watching this have had breakups that have been really bad I myself have had an awful one as well in the past um, terrible one that literally changed who I was as a person I, I look back at that person with regret and um, and you can go to places like this just from a breakup. It, it's ridiculous, but it happens. It's, it's nuts. But at the same time, it could also be taken as a song on twofold, where they're talking about Korea and the system as well, and how so many young people in that country. I don't know if it's still the, the case now. Hopefully, it's better. But especially when BTS were coming up, had so much pressure and felt this pressure in their life, like. And BTS have always, since day one, come out against that and telling young, like young people to chase their dreams and not fall into this rotating wheel. I knew that scene was coming because it was the only scene I saw in Rise of Bang Tang and I, when I figured out which song it was, I knew that was coming, but fuck me, if that doesn't hit you, it's so heavy. Jeez, I'm just trying to compose myself here. <laughs> a song like this for a big emotional mess like me, <laughs> it's not the best combo. Jeez, it's, it's crazy how if you listen to this song on the radio, you wouldn't put this music video to this song either. BTS just so unique in their presentation of their music. It's unbelievable. <laughs> 
this is gonna sound weird but that might be the first BTS song or I guess that's the wrong thing to say that might be the first BTS music video that I'm glad ended <laughs> oh my god man ah oh. right anyone watching this who comes along to the live streams on Saturday when we do the BTS vote when we do the bonus video for the week Please give me just a happy, crazy, fun, energetic, you know, like dope or, <laughs> or on. Anything like that. Give me something like that. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Stop doing this to me. You all know what I'm like. <laughs> you all know me by now. We've been doing this for a few months. Come on. You know what I'm like. I can't be, ha I can't be seeing these guys go like, I know it's acting. But it doesn't feel like acting with BTS. It, it just doesn't. It's so strange, but it doesn't. Why doesn't it? Why does it feel so damn real? It's so weird. Because it does, doesn't it? It does. It doesn't feel like acting. It feels, it feels, it feels strangely real, and I, I hate it because of that. Oh, man. You know, I've just realized I'm looking at a bunch of thumbnails for a few other BTS songs. One thing I've realized, RM. RM's never in the middle. It's usually someone else, right? Actually, I might be wrong there. I, I might, I might, I think I'm wrong there. <laughs> um, but in a lot of them, he's not in the middle, which is interesting because you'd think as a leader that he sort of take like the center position, but he doesn't seem to... I mean, I'm looking at four different thumbnails, and he's only in the middle for one of them, so... Um, five different thumbnails, actually. I, uh, I like that. Oh, man, I don't even know what I'm saying. What am I even saying? Like, <laughs> that video messed me up. Oh. Seeing him like that is just so unpleasant. <laughs> the song is lovely. I Need You is an absolutely beautiful song. A fantastic chorus, very well done. Brill just a brilliant song. One of their best, especially one of their best old songs. Amazing song. Amazing song. Really, I, I loved it. Brilliant song. Really, really good song. And I I'm, gonna I'm listening to this one again. This, this, is a, this is a great song. Really, really good song. The chorus especially I just hit, hit me. Amazing song. But the music video... Just, it just adds this whole element I didn't need to see. <laughs> it just adds this whole element. This whole heartbreaking, emotional, straining element. That I didn't need. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't really know what to say. Usually I do some sort of breakdown at the end of these videos and talk about what I just watched. But I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say. That was, uh, the video was, I've already, uh, halfway through I already said what I, it could be about. It could literally be a breakup song. It could also be a song about the state of, um, young people's mental health in Korea. Knowing BTS, it's probably both. It's amazing how they can take, uh, a song that sounds, it's not upbeat, because the lyrics aren't upbeat. But it is an upbeat kind of sounding song. And add a music video to this and just have this whole underlining meaning. It's, it's amazing how well they can do this. How well they can just have a complete contradiction in a song. Have like five different ways a song can be interpreted. Insane. 
I don't know anyone else who does that. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. I'm feeling a bit... I'm feeling a bit weird after this one. I'm feeling a bit emotional, so I'm going to end it there and, and like, gather my thoughts. Um, that's a hard music video to watch. Um, yeah, it really is. It, it breaks your heart, because for some reason, watching BTS go through that, even though it's acting, it just doesn't feel like it. You know, you feel, you feel for them. So strange. Maybe they're just that good at acting. <laughs> anyway... Thank you very much for taking some time out of your day and, and, and spending it here with me watching this video. I really appreciate all of you. I wouldn't be me without all of you and the support you guys give this channel is incredible. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I hope wherever you are in the world, you have the best day ever. I love all of you beautiful people. And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.